All right, y'all, Spirit is giving me an interesting message now, kind of telling me that we have three different worlds that are existing out here right now, three different dimensions, if you will, and we have people in multiple dimensions and doing multiple things. I have no idea where this is going to go, okay? So we're just going to let Spirit lead us. We have the world of imagination. We have those that are in the more routine world. I can see this, something more traditional, because imagination, if y'all are not paying attention, has become a very big thing. It is a world unto itself. For example, those of us here that are sharing each other's energy energy via the internet via youtube which no longer it didn't even exist it is very much the spirit realm do not get it confused y'all the internet is very much the spirit realm spirits connect people all types of exchanges spiritual exchanges happen through the internet please do not get it twisted and we also see messages okay so we see a realm of messages we have people that, that are just in the world i'm giving y'all what spirit's giving me y'all so let's let's roll um we have people out there that are just in a world where they're just receiving messages and they're receiving messages on every level. They're just receiving. They're kind of letting life happen to them on the spiritual, mental and, mental and physical plane. They're just kind of allowing life to happen to them. We have people that are still in the traditional world, the world that really was probably prior to 2001. And then we have those of us that are kind of in the, the world of imagination. Notice the word of imagination is also a card that speaks to air energy, communication. So many of us are now in the new world, which is very virtual. It's very virtual space. We have those that are in the old world we have those that are in the world where life is just happening to them they're not really creating a dimension or space they're just kind of on the receiving end of those that are in the new world those that are in the old world and then there are those that are just kind of there maybe a lot of our elders too this might kind of apply to them that are just like hey I, i've kind of kind of passed the point of giving a damn what y'all y'all do out there <laughs> You know, a lot of our parents and stuff are like that. Like, I don't care what's going on. I'm chilling over here. So these are that's that generation. We might even be seeing three generations here, but let's go ahead and see what we come up with and what spirit is trying to tell us. Very unique um, message, message that I just received. So, okay, so we see those of us in the new world. We're bringing a lot of clarity. Okay, this is a dimension of clarity. Um, we tend to bring clarity to those around us, those of us that are in the new world, in the creative world. We're bringing clarity. And I really feel like we're bringing clarity because um, there are a lot of people in the old school traditional world that don't believe this world can exist. That you can make money as a content creator, for example. They don't quite believe that. They don't quite believe in um, being free of the corporations, right? They don't quite believe in um, making money just working for yourself or being a gig hustler or just being a stay-at-home mom or dad or being someone that is spiritual. You're living for a totally spiritual life. Maybe you're living to be a missionary. You're living to dedicate your life to the church. You know, you're living to kind of um, just bring empowerment to your community and you're not caught up on the old school corporate ways. You have a lot of this generation this world, this dimension, they can't even conceive of us that are over here in the creator space. They just can't conceive of it. The imagine the people with the imagination, and it's crazy, right? Corporations, okay, all those old school things that they live for were created by somebody with a great imagination, right? But they're not seeing that. Um, we kind of see the old school generation still believing they have to make great offerings and great sacrifices, Knight of Cups, great offerings, great sacrifices, really give of themselves, give of their hearts in order to get anything back out of life. And then we have those over here that we see the benefit, right, of those that are in our messenger, message, messages, messenger dimension because they're receiving, but they're also going to be the kind of the realm of justice, okay? So what is fair, what is balanced and what is right it is happening over here and our third our third world basically it is happening over here okay okay so we see these worlds collab right y'all just saw how them cars just all of the cars just tried to get away from me so there's a lot of collision between these worlds okay we are the generation over here us us creators we exited we exited a lot of the foolishness a long time ago. We're the ones that was just like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good on this. And we kind of walked out and kind of portaled into this dimension. We walked out of this one and went into that one. Some of y'all was born in this one. Those of y'all that may have been born, you know, after like 1995, you may have been born into this one. Uh, and that's what you believe in. That's what you're all about. These people here that stayed in the old world, and some of these are like people that may be like 50 and under. They just can't conceive of a different world. So they stayed over here in this world and they've just turned their back on the possibility 
of kind of saying, hey, you know, you, you have a better shot of creating your own destiny and being who you want to be, you know, stepping in your greatness, living in your truth. You have a better chance of that over here. Um, and we see the seven of wands again. We had this third group. They stand their ground. They all about justice. You ain't got to worry about them. They do them. They receive messages. They receive what's going on around them, but they stand true to themselves in the end. And this is this is a group here. I'm, I'm growing to see more and learn more and have more respect for this group here because this is a group here that is tough. Again, I'm getting a lot of baby boomer energy from over here. This is a tough group. Okay, they don't care what we got going on. They staying true to what they are. These are this, you know, our parents. They still going to see the Grateful Dead. They still, I mean, is the Grateful Dead still living, y'all? Am I talking crazy? Were they still listening to the Grateful Dead? They still playing their Stevie Wonder album. They still throwing on their Marvin Gaye. They still sitting back puffing their little puff puff, you know what I mean? And they chilling. They don't care what we got going on out here. Our parents is like, shh, let, let, we still getting on the grill doing Frankie Beverly over here, okay? We still doing Joni Mitchell. We still doing Joe Cocker, okay? They're not worried about, <laughs> they still turning the Beatles on, Rolling Stones. They do not care what we got going on over here, okay? They like, and we telling them, we like, nah, ma, it's different out here now. And they like, baby, move out the way. I still got vinyls in this house. What you talking about? We're very much in a generation of knowing. We're in a dimension of knowing. We're all about what we know. And I'm talking on a spiritual level. This is a very creative new world that we're in right here, many of us. Um, those in traditional world may be looking at an awakening coming soon. They may have an awakening coming soon. And again, <laughs> we see our parents and them is like, we see that hanged man. Again, they like, I don't care what y'all are doing. This is how we get out over here. This is what we believe politics and music and concepts are. Y'all do what y'all do. We're going to keep doing this. Like we, We're seeing a hell, of, a hell of a lot of this from our, our parental figures. Rihanna, keep coming through my readings tonight, y'all. I love... I just say it at every read. <laughs> I love Rihanna. Oh, my God. She is so amazing. I love her. What she say? Work, 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 but sure, y'all, Rihanna keeps showing up, and she showed up in my generation and my group, because yes, she is one of the ones in my group and my generation, so yeah, Rihanna, okay, so we're seeing it's been a very dominant group, y'all know what Rihanna gives, Rihanna is a Venus and Aries, shout out to all my Venus and Aries twins, me and Re, Venus and Aries, Al, she's very Venus and Aries, she's very fiery, she's passionate, She's creative. She's imaginative. She's just ready for the ready for the world. Um, she's given that energy. This is very much a part of this particular dimension, this new world dimension. We have the traditional space still, right, where we have the Knight of Wands energy um, coming through with them, where they are still explorers, which is positive. It may also speak to the awakening that we see could possibly come through to this generation at various points. They're still explorers. They still have some passion and explore exploration to them. We see the seven of pentacles over here. Once again, we see our elders, because I swear this is representing the elders. They already had a harvest. They already did what they're going to do. Okay, and what, what we, what me and Rihanna and all of what we doing, if they just like, we doing us. That's what we can tell y'all. We see a knighthood over here. We see a very much a code existing in this new world. Um, and, it, and it very much is true, right? Those of us that are creators, that are spirituals, very much living by a code of, you know, openness, creativity. Everyone should be living in their truth. People are giving back in the ways they can give back. They're all about transformation, alchemy, um, understanding that nobody has a right to define you. All of the things. Remember, this is the mention of communication and imagination. OK, so we're we're bringing we're really channeling like when we look at communication and imagination. We're really the group of oracles. We're the ones that are bringing into the world the new the spiritual, the new spiritual dispensation. And there's very much a code for us like we live by it. We're all about it. And we see this knighthood card come through and the traditional group. They really feel like, you know, they believe that this world is the world for them. They just they believe it. They're not able to think outside of that box. And we see the, the, the magician over here with our elders. You know, they take action as they see fit, as above, so below. This is a very powerful group, y'all. Listen, do not forget to reach out to your elders, right? Your your grandparents, auntie, grandtie, mama, uncle, auntie. Do not forget to reach out to them for guidance, for wisdom. This is an extremely powerful group. 
I know it looks like they're not on anything that we're on. I know it looks like they don't understand the way we get down now. I know it seems like they're totally absent and removed from who we are, what we are, the, the beliefs that we have. It seems like they have little in common with us, but that's not true. There's so much to be taken from this dimension here. It really is. It's so much to be gained. So I, I advise y'all, whoever has elders, peek into that dimension from time to time because there's, a, there's some amazing things to take out of there. We can't forget that many of the forerunners of the creative movements do start with those baby boomers and those people from that generation that are 70, 100 years ago. These are some of the ones that set the stage for us to be able to be Flower Children 2.0, Hippies 2.0, Bohemian 2.0, Creatives 2.0. A lot of the greatest magicians and spiritualists were in that group. The greatest musicians, I mean, it's amazing power feminists that came out of this group. So please do not count this dimension out. This is a dimension that while you still have the chance, you really need to sit at their feet from time to time. A lot of them have some very valuable magic to give. Um, you know, to, to both of us here in these groups. So, what's next? What's next, y'all, for these groups here? What's next? Okay? Remember, I'm just following spirit on this one. I don't even know where this one came from. It's very unique. I believe it's very necessary. Because this is a very interesting time. We're definitely living in multiple, multiple dimensions and multiple time warps right now. What is next? We see a lot of reflection and hermit energy coming in this group. And I think it's so important to acknowledge how special hermit energy is. I think hermit energy gets a bad rap. People think that if you spend a lot of time alone in study or in spirituality or on your own personal journey, number nine, being in a supreme space, being a supreme being, being a God, people misunderstand it and they act as though, you know, oh, you need help. So-and-so is spending, they're spending too much time alone. They're reading too many books. This is a very elevated space to be in. Please remember, you are called and divine and in a very ecclesiastic space when you can be called to kind of step up into in hermit energy because that's what it is. You're, you're going into your wisdom. You're going into the highest level, high one of the highest numbers, right? Highest frequencies. So we see the spiritual community kind of ascending next, okay? Um, we see some of us that are in advocacy, that are about fighting for the little guy. We see us really kind of ascending, moving forward. We really do. Knight of Swords energy. Okay. We see some of us getting into making donations to charities or even starting our own charities. Knight of Pentacles energy. For the traditional generation, we see them taking action. We see them taking action to bring things into fruition for themselves. Okay. We see them really going back to their past a lot. These people live in the past a lot. They they may be people in their, I would say, 40s and 30s that just kind of live in their past a lot, um, really kind of trying to recapture the things that were special about their childhood, which is nothing wrong with that. The world has changed a bit, but and we see them kind of grieving. They tend to grieve for the past, this group. They tend to grieve for the past. Um and the past just kind of being the world as it was before 2001, right? They tend to grieve for that a lot. Um, these are the people that are probably, they only listen to music from a certain time period. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with any of it, but I'm just saying there is some grieving in that generation. Okay. And we see those elders of ours. We see them doing good. They're celebrating. Some of them are going to be getting married. Um, some of them are going to be taking trips. They're having a good time. They're doing the whole backyard party vibe. They're going to be stepping into some new beginnings, giving some new ideas. There are going to be a lot of new ideas coming from this group, y'all. Just watch. Like I said, speak to your elders because they have a lot to give to the creative generation. They really do. So speak to them. They have some fresh ideas. And they're just going to be overflowing with love. We see beautiful vibes coming from this group. I love them. They're going to be receiving messages of celebration. They're going to be giving messages of celebration. They're going to be receiving. Um, they, they really receive from what we do. And they're able to kind of just take it all in and continue to be themselves. So they have a very alchemized view of everything. It's the old with the new then they've very much been the groundwork for this generation over here they've been the groundwork for this generation here so you have to remember this dimension here because this baby boomer generation was very special and they really created both of these worlds here they were one of the most hard working groups they were also one of the most creative groups so we have to remember to you know as they take it all in 
you know, respect their messages because they're not changing. That's one thing about this group. They will not be changing. They like, y'all do y'all. We doing us. They've always been the forerunners. They're also kind of a cool group of elders. You see a lot of them like still out here. They still wear interesting clothes. You know, they still do their thing at 70, 80 years old. Some of them are still getting degrees at this. Like, it's a pretty cool group. So don't count them out. Um, <sighs> this was interesting. So this is what we saw, y'all. I hope y'all got something out of this. I certainly did. It was very unique reading. It just came from nowhere. So um, I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you for tuning in to the Fine Feminine Tarot. Uh, T, and make sure you like, you share, subscribe because this was very powerful. So be willing to share this one with all generations. Like there, there's, there's something that that we can all gain from this. You know, just as a collective. Um, period. So like, share, and subscribe this because it really kind of speaks to where we are, where we've been, and where we're going. See y'all in the next one.